good. It's a good, good win. Uh, you know, um, it was one of the things, the pacemaker side well. I followed and then from like uh, I think close to 2k I can see it slowing down and once it slowed down I was down by three seconds so it would have been hard to be able to just go on my own and to go for it so it was just like one of those things where I had to make a split decision whether try and win the race or go for fast times because they were all, all behind me and uh, I made that split decision where I'm just, just going to try and win the race and save a little bit. Yeah, no, it was important because, you know, I raced Edinburgh, you saw I was second and still had that in my mind as that, you know, coming seconds, I wanted to get a good win here, which is which is important um, as an athlete. You just want to keep winning and, you know, have that confidence. Um, but today I felt I felt OK, uh, got definitely got heavy, uh, a lot of miles, a lot of miles in my legs. So, it's, you know, it's not about just you are you just completely tape up for a race. I still got another race, the world half. So it's kind of still training for that. But it was important, most important thing today was just come out and win. <laughs> I've never done the world half, so um, it ain't going to be like, you know, as easy as me going like where, you know, the 10K where you have more experience and everything else. You can just go out, switch off and, uh, you know, go for the last five laps. The, the world's going gonna, gonna to be pretty difficult, I think. Uh, we'll have three Kenyans, three Ethiopians, Uganda. Uh, you, you, it's going to be as hard as the world, really. I think even even a lot harder. So it's important that you know train for it, train well for it, and and come out and see what I can do with. And hopefully, you know, with the home crowd, uh, that really gives me a massive boost for me. I'm, I'm going to go back see my family and spend a bit of time in Portland, uh, train up there, uh, and then come back in four weeks' time. Now you're in Olympic year, are you very much thinking about Rio? Everything is geared towards Rio, um, but a lot along the way we have a lot, we have a lot of races. So, uh, but most important thing come come August. That's that's the one one thing that really matters, no matter what. Even if I, you know if I win races now or, or lose races, wouldn't wouldn't really matter. The one thing that really matter for me is Rio. Is there extra motivation today after losing in Edinburgh? Yeah, massive. Uh, it's important, you know. You win races, and I, I, I want to win as an athlete. Sometimes, like you know, we, when you go out talking to you guys, finish there, you go to sleep at night. You, you think about it. You think about what 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 happened. How can I do? What could I done? And you ask you ask yourself a lot of questions. And that did happen in Edinburgh. And I, I knew I wasn't as sharp as I was I, I meant to be. But I guess you know that's early. And then that's why I did a, like a good block of training in Ethiopia, which has gone well. Uh, just really guided, like you know, my training partners. Uh, Charlie Grice, who's who's in decent shape, uh, just got ill just the last bit. He had food poison like coming into it, so he's vomiting all over the plane and stuff. And then Adam had a little bit of problem with foot, but he they both be hopefully uh, run at the trials next week. You don't, more, you don't often lose on British soil, so up, up in Edinburgh, did like how much did that hurt you, or did it hurt you? Or did you just it did hurt it me. No, no, it did hurt me. <laughs> Every athlete, you know, hurts when you lose races. But it's important, yeah. You know, you just kind of not 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 think about it too too much. Uh, but you know, think about it enough that you can next time you can do something about it. With all of the stuff that's going on with Kenyan athletics at the moment, how do you feel racing against Kenyan athletes? For me, as I, as I said to you guys, it's like um, um, I love my sports. I love what we do. And if if I'm racing against athletes, you know, I would just want them to apply same rules as we do and that's important as I've always said along you know as, a, as an athlete you know you you just want to be able to you know nice countries one, do what we do but do you have doubts like on the start line when you when you look around at athletes from Kenya or whatever do you have doubts you, in your head is it, no it's just important that like, you don't put doubts in your head here yeah, you just know like what work you've done how much work you've done and, and try and just think about it, how you need to win okay yeah no, 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 mate, I don't even know what day it is today. <laughs> Seriously, I'm like, the other day someone asked me, do you know what day is your race? I'm like, nah, I know it's in August, so that's all you need to know. <laughs> today, I'm like, Arsenal playing, I don't know what the score is, I left, nil-nil. Yeah, final result. Nil-nil, replay at Emirates. Yeah, oh. <laughs> <laughs>